Hi guys, Natural Health Nut here, Nikki. How you doing? Um, so, sorry, good cup of tea. Just want to have a little sip. So I saw a research paper today um, about how CBD can positively affect, sorry, COVID. And I actually saw one of these very, very early on in the, in the pandemic and I actually did a, um, a podcast on it. But I've been watching recently, I've, I've read through it, the data's solid, although it isn't peer reviewed at the moment, I have to point that out, it's not peer reviewed, but the data is pretty solid and a lot of people are coming out, uh, a lot of researchers coming out saying it does look very good. Um, but I wanted to point out actually um, a little trick that um, the establishment uses quite often uh, and we've seen it with other um, potential treatments that have been demonised, shall we say. And they're caught between a rock and a hard place really at the moment because what they've done is they've come out and validated the report. The official narrative have validated the report and they've said, yes, it does look like CBDA, which is cannabidiolic acid or CBD in its raw acid form, which I'll go into in a minute and explain in a minute. So they've said, yeah, that is what actually can work against it. However, it's impossible to stabilize. It's impossible to um, actually isolate um, and create in, in, in a product because the reason being basically CBDA, as I was saying, is, is, is CBD in its raw form. So as soon as you dry a plant or you decarboxylate, you heat it uh, to make an oil, that's gone forever. So it turns to CBD. And that's the same with all cannabinoids. You've got CBDA, um, you've got CBD, uh, CBGA, CBNA, uh, CBCA, THCA, the list goes on, 115 of them in total. Um, but at the moment, nobody, nobody has been able to synthesize this. And the reason being, as an example, even the Israeli scientists that actually are doing all the research into it at the moment, they're using a synthesized version. They can't actually isolate this uh, or this component of CBD, CBDA. However, the drops that I actually stock, and this is the reason that I stock them, it's been the reason that I've stocked them for two years, and I've been singing it from the rooftops, is we are the only product officially that seems to be able to um, uh, sort of protect the integrity of at least 300 milligrams of CBDA per bottle. And that is actually the reason that I think that they're more effective. They're very, very effective drops, and that's why I stock them, that's why I sell them. Um, I don't sell them because they're mine, they're not branded. I don't own them, I don't earn anything off them. They're literally just the product that I provide because they are very, very good. Um, but yeah, they've ca caught themselves in a, a little bit of a, a tight spot here because they validated the science by saying it does seem that CBDA has the ability to uh, mitigate COVID um, and a, a lot of other things as well, by the way. But they're holding on to the fact that they don't think that you can actually uh, isolate this amazing compound, and we can. So if you're interested in a free consultation, just hit me up anytime, guys. No pressure. Just wanted to give you a bit of a review on that uh, medical st uh, study. I will try and pin a copy of the study to my report later. But I've got a new, hey, excuse me, new edition that I'm looking after today. Is he a Max or is he a Teddy? Let me know. Anyway, cheers, guys. See you soon.